Today, we're going to look at some NFTs that are worth $1,000 or less that I think have the potential to absolutely shoot to the moon. There are some incredible stories out there about people buying NFTs for less than $100 and then selling them later for hundreds of thousands of dollars. A lot of these NFTs are now considered blue chip NFTs. In other words, they're here, they're established, and everyone kind of agrees that they will continue to be worth a lot of money in the future. Now, of course, all of these NFTs are speculative. We never really know what's going to happen with them. And along the same lines, everything in this video is not financial advice. I'm just a guy sitting here talking about some cool NFT projects that I like. One thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find that next blue chip NFT project. So to do that, I'm trying to find cheaper projects that I can get into now that I think have the potential to 10, 20, 100X going into the future. Now, all the NFTs I'm showing you today are on the Solana blockchain. A lot of the more popular NFT projects that you might see in the news, those are on the Ethereum blockchain, meaning you buy them with the cryptocurrency Ethereum, and then they reside on the Ethereum blockchain. With Solana, you are buying them with Solana instead, and then they exist on the Solana blockchain. There are a lot of benefits, I think, to Solana. It's faster, the gas fees are much, much lower, and I think Solana NFTs are about to pop off in a big, big way. Right now, the most popular NFTs are the Ethereum ones, but Solana is really gaining traction. And then once Solana NFTs end up on the biggest NFT marketplace, which is OpenSea, we know that's happening soon. And as soon as that happens, I think we're gonna see a lot more money pouring into Solana NFTs. So if you could buy the blue chip ones now, while they're still cheaper, once they hit the OpenSea market, I think they're absolutely going to explode in price. So let me show you some of the projects that I have already invested in and some others that I'm looking at as well. Now, the first project I wanna talk about is the one that I am the most bullish on, the one I'm most excited about, and that is Dronies. So you can see I currently have five of them inside my wallet right now. The thing I love about Dronies is not only is the art really, really cool, you see all these different birds right here with all these different attributes that I absolutely love. I just love the artwork behind this whole project. But more importantly, I think what really stands out to me about Dronies is the team behind it. These aren't just some guys in some basement throwing this together. This is a real company called Unfold. They're based here in the United States and they're a design company. They've worked with some big, pretty big companies doing design work for them, including Solana Labs themselves. So when Unfold had this idea to make an NFT, they reached out to Solana Labs. So actually Unfold and Solana Labs have kind of worked together to bring dronies to life. So this is a big, legitimate company running this entire project. And what's also really cool is that they are fully publicly doxxed. In other words, they've gone on YouTube Lives, they've showed their faces. We know who the people are behind this entire project. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to meet up where I'm going to meet the guy in charge of the entire dronies project. So they're being fully honest and transparent about who they are, what their qualifications are, and they are highly, highly qualified to take on a project like this. You don't see that a lot with a lot of other NFT projects. A lot of people who run them like to stay hidden. They don't like to reveal who they are. And when these people are getting hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of dollars when they start selling these NFTs, I think the right thing to do is to publicly come out and tell everyone who you are so that we have more confidence in you. The other thing I like about Dronies is I'm a member of the Dronies Discord, which is just for members who actually have Dronies themselves. And the community there is just awesome. It's high engagement. People are really excited about the project. They're talking about it every day. They just released some merchandise that I'm going to be getting in a few weeks that I'm pretty excited for. So it's a really, really strong community. And coming on here on Magic Eden, you can see that you can currently buy one for as cheap as 2. Point where is it? 2.65 soul. And soul right now is really, really cheap. It's only about $85 for one soul. And at one point it was over $200 for a soul. So it's definitely a very good bargain right now. Now this is actually lower than what the initial price of, price of Joni's was. It was originally at three. So, you know, that can, be a, that can feel a little bit alarming when the price has dropped below the mint price. But one thing that the team behind Dronies is not about is they're not about creating artificial hype, which I really, really appreciate. You see a lot of other projects. I'm not saying this is wrong. 
right or wrong, whatever it is, but they try to create hype. They just announce things like, hey, if everyone delists their NFTs, then we're going to do some giveaway. Uh, they do things like staking, which it's debatable if that's even going to be allowed in the future because of SEC rules. But the team behind Dronies Unfold, they're not doing that. They want the value of the NFTs to go up as they execute on their roadmap and actually provide value, which in the long run is exactly what I want out of an NFT project. So this is the one that I'm most excited about. Like I said, I have five already. I'm going to be buying up some more because it's so cheap right now to get in. And I think these are gonna be worth a lot more money in the future, especially once they hit kind of a broader audience on OpenSeas. Now, the second project I wanna talk about is called Solana Monkey Rejects. As you see, I have one in my wallet right here. And I have another one actually that I do have that I listed for sale. You can see that one right here. I love, love these monkeys. So I actually kind of was not on top of things. I didn't know these were coming out because they happened around the same time as dronies and I was just kind of all in with dronies at that time. But then these came out, I saw someone posting about it on Twitter and I looked at them and I thought, oh my gosh, these look so, so good. The detail on these, if you like zoom in, is just absolutely incredible right here. So I had to buy one. I bought one for 1.9 soul. That was a legendary rank. So it was ranked really, really well. Now the cheapest you can buy one for is 3.79. And really most of them are selling for 4, 4.5. So I've already doubled my investment on this, but I'm still gonna hold on to at least one of them, probably both of them for a while because I think these are just gonna go up and up in price. Some NFT projects do well because it is high quality art that people can use as their profile picture on like Twitter. So I think this fits that bill just because it looks so, so good. So I kind of just stumbled into this community and I was really surprised in joining their Discord how amazing the community is and how supportive they are and how much they really want Solana Monkey Rejects to succeed. And not a lot of people are listing them. A lot of people are holding on to them because they want to see it go up in value and do well into the future. Now, yes, Slime Monkey G Rejects, full disclosure, is doing a lot of those things that I said Dronies isn't. Again, I don't think that's necessarily good or bad, just different ways that people run their projects. So they are doing things like, like incentivizing, delisting your monkeys. But again, I don't think that's right or wrong, just different ways that people are, are trying to add value to the project. A lot of good ones here still for just 3.79, 3.8, let's say four soul. And we use this calculator right here that tells us that's just $338. Now, if you're kind of wondering like which one should you buy, which monkey should you buy, which drony should you buy? What I'm discovering is just find ones that you like. If you like it, chances are other people will like it in the future as well. And it's just like any investment. If you think these are going to go up in value later on, you know, do your own research, determine that for yourself, then it almost doesn't matter which one you buy, even if you buy the cheapest one, 3.79 soul, and let's say in six months, the floor price is now 15, you did really, really well, even if you don't have the best, rarest monkey that you could buy. The next project I wanna talk about is called Dazed Ducks. You can see I have one dazed duck right here. I'm laughing because I love, looking at his eyes just kind of twitch like that. Kind of reminds me of myself when I'm stressed out. But I love these Days Ducks. This is one of the first projects I looked at. But when I looked at it, the price was, I think something like 15 soul minimum to buy into one of these. Then it was like eight soul, which too, still felt too expensive. And I just kind of watched it go up from there. So eventually I said, you know what? I just got to bite the bullet and buy in because I think these are going to be worth a lot more money in the future. But what really stood out to me about Days Ducks when I originally saw it was just like how cool it was. It's just, they look so, so awesome. Some of these, all of them really look so awesome. You can't really go wrong with any of them. And I joined the community. It's a really strong, strong community. They, people in there love their ducks a lot. And you also get some pretty cool stuff. Like you get access to a private dashboard where you can actually stake your ducks or there's, there's something similar to staking. I, I don't think it's actually staking anymore. Um, but they're doing a lot for the community. They're really trying to build it up um, and really, really strong community. I, I just think the art is fantastic. Just like with Slana Monkey you Rejects, I think this is one that people are going to want as their profile picture because we're already seeing that. A lot of people on Twitter who have ducks make it their profile picture 
because they just look so awesome. And the guy behind Days Ducks is a publicly known artist, so he is out there, we do know who he is. I should also say, for Slime and Monkey Rejects, we don't actually know who the guy is behind the project, but he does appear a lot on Twitter spaces, so we hear his voice. I've listened to a lot of Twitter spaces with him. So at least that, you know, that gives you some idea of who the person is. And at this point, one of the benefits of buying into a project after it mints, when it's already for sale on the secondary market, is one, you can kind of see how the community is built up and how it reacts. Like we know this is a strong community. That's why I think it's a good buy. We know that Monkey Rejects is a good community and Dronies as well. And it kind of gives you more confidence, even if you don't fully know who the person is, they're still executing on the roadmap. They're still showing up in Twitter spaces. So uh, even if they're not fully publicly doxxed, I think by this, this point, it, it's kind of okay, even though I'm a huge advocate of being publicly doxxed. Now, the last project I want to talk about is one I'm not currently invested in, but I am looking at seriously, and that is Pesky Penguins. I've heard a lot of great things about this project, and a lot of people I know have bought in and absolutely love it. So I think this is another one that has a huge potential to be one of those blue chip Solana NFTs going forward. But of course, do your own research. Now, there are a ton of other great Solana NFTs out there that I didn't talk about in this video. But one thing I don't want to do is just dump a bunch of projects on you that I haven't personally looked into myself or personally invested in myself. I'm putting myself out there. I'm buying these NFTs that I'm showing you guys to show you guys that I really believe in these ones. There are great projects that I just haven't had time to research myself. Maybe once I do that, I'll actually buy into those ones as well. So if you have any good recommendations, let me know in the comments section down below. Also, let me know in the comments section if you want me to make a step-by-step -step video showing you how to buy your first Solana NFT. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, take one second, actually take a half a second, go down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Then subscribe to this channel if you want more videos about NFTs, Solana, cryptocurrency, making money online. That's what this channel is all about. Thanks so much for checking out the video. And if you want to see another NFT video that I made recently, click right here. Check out that video and I'll see you there in a second.